Hey, how's it going guys? It's the Lawmaster here and welcome back to another Rocket League video and in this one I have for you another episode of five facts glitches and Easter eggs in Rocket League. That's right guys So unfortunately in this one we don't have any glitches But we do have some amazing Easter eggs and secrets that I just found hidden throughout this game And I definitely don't think that many of you know about them now with that being said guys, if you happen to be a Rocket League expert and you know a bunch of these facts, just keep in mind that the majority of people watching this video probably don't know them. And overall, this video is just meant to be fun and teach you guys some things that you might have never even known about. But other than that guys, as always, if you enjoyed today's video or learned something new, be sure to leave a like down below. It only takes a second and it helps me out a ton. And without further ado here, let's get into it with the first fact. Alright guys, so starting off today's episode, we're gonna go straight into it with an awesome little easter egg on a certain DLC car. Now the DLC car that I'm talking about is just, I feel bad for it, because the car that I am talking about is the Proteus. Proteus? Proteus? I really don't know how to say that. But either way, this poor freaking car, it's really gotta be one of, if not the most weird looking car in Rocket League because just look at it. It's such an odd shape and then it's got those weird moving hands on the front. It is just a special looking car. Now I'm not saying the design is bad, Psyonix always does a good job coming up with unique ideas for their cars, but this one's just weird and I barely ever see it in game. However, with this car, it comes with some very cool decals as you can see here as we're just scrolling through them a lot of them are very unique and very striking but if you take a look at one of the coolest decals called the crash dive you can see a bunch of details on it and if you look above the booster fan thing you can see that it says SS Manning now the reason this is named SS Manning is because it's actually named after somebody that works at psionics called Phil Manning and you can see his name right here in the credits so yeah it's spelled exactly the same so this is definitely 100% a little Easter egg that's a reference to this guy at psionics so yeah definitely a very interesting secret and I just have to say the people that work at psionics really really like to put their names as references I mean we've had entire fields named after people at psionics other decal names with secret meanings and this is just another awesome one to add to that list now speaking of secret names for things in the game, this next little secret is honestly probably going to blow your mind if you haven't heard about it yet. Because this little fact has to do with the most popular car in the game, the Octane. That is right, the professional dribbling machine that is just overall one of the best cars and one of the favorites of a lot of players including most pro players. It has a little bit of secret history to it that a lot of people probably never even knew about. But anyways, this little secret has to do with the alpha version of this car which as you can see here looks so much different and went through a lot of changes to become the octane that we know and love today but did you know that it wasn't always called the octane in fact it was called and prepare yourselves for this one Pepe. Yes, freaking Pepe. That could have been the name of the Octane if they didn't decide to change it. So I don't know why they called it this. I don't know if it was named after the giant freaking internet meme. And I would figure that it was named after that, but I honestly cannot tell you. Now I might just have to contact Psyonix about this because I really want to know the story behind this. I mean, come on, don't you guys want to know why they called this car Pepe? Out of every single other name in the entire world, they chose that one and I really want to know why. But overall, who knows? I'm actually really glad they decided to change the name to the Octane because the name Octane just fits this car so perfectly and it really does deserve a great name. Getting into the third fact here, this one has to do with Season 4 and more specifically the brand new division titles within this season. So if for some reason you live under a rock or your name is Patrick Starr, a while ago they announced that Season 4 is going to be starting with 7 new divisions. So we've got Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Champion, and then Grand Champion. Now all of these symbols just look so freaking clean and really, really nice, especially the ones like Diamond and then Champion. But on top of it all, we have the Grand champion symbol which is just insane however with this symbol did you notice that there's actually a little easter egg or secret with it so i'll give you a couple of seconds to see if you can see it here so one two three if you didn't happen to catch it the symbol that this is based off of is the rocket league ball that's right, so if we take a look at the ball in game, as you can see on two of the sides it has this very unique sort of triangular-ish pattern, and when we put this pattern side by side with the grand champion title, yeah, you can clearly see where the inspiration for this title came from. 
Now, personally, I think that's really cool because this is the only symbol that I believe is sort of based off of something in the game. The other ones are just kind of random, fairly simple, and of course, all of them just look absolutely amazing, but the Grand Champion symbol is just supposed to be that crowning achievement, and it's supposed to be special, and I definitely think this adds to that. Now, speaking of the Rocket League ball, there's actually another little easter egg about this that happens on one of mine, if not my personal favorite map, Utopia Coliseum. Or as me and my friends like to call it, the Mushroom Kingdom. Because, I don't know, it kind of looks like a place from Mario. But, uh, yeah, anyways, with this map, it just has a lot of cool details to it. You have this massive hill with all these really cool looking buildings on it, and then you have these awesome sort of old historic stands surrounding the arena. But one of the coolest design features is the very center of the map. So if we go over to the center of the map in spectator mode, as you can see from a top-down angle, it is clearly again the Rocket League ball. So yeah, we've got two little easter eggs about the Rocket League ball, but this one I kind of think is the coolest, because it's so hidden in plain sight. Like, how many times do you play on this map and you drive over the center or take a kickoff right above these bricks here, and you never really think to take a look at these because you just think they're completely normal. However, with Psyonix being the awesome designers that they are, they just always go above and beyond with their designs and incorporate so many little things that just adds so much awesome value to it. But anyways, moving on to the final fact or easter egg of this list, this one has to do with three items in Rocket League that were added in as a very unique and special update. However, these ones were added a very long time ago, so I definitely think if you're newer to Rocket League, you would have never known about this, but it's just a very cool and kind of funny little story. But anyways, the items that I am talking about here are the disconnect antenna, the white flag antenna, and finally the server gate wheels. Now for most of us who joined Rocket League after it was like initially initially released, you've probably just always thought that these three items were just in the game since the very beginning. I mean, personally, I always just thought the white flag was like a joke, as well as the disconnect one, it was just kind of a funny play on when that symbol comes up in game. But as I started to notice the server gate wheels, and actually there's a little tiny mini secret with these server gate wheels, if you take a look at the skull, right smack dab in the center is a mini disconnect symbol of its own. Definitely a very cool little secret, but that's not the biggest thing that we're talking about here. Now, when I took a look at these wheels, I was just kind of curious as to why they had so many items that had to do with connection problems. So being the researcher that I am, I googled server gate wheels and the other items we talked about, and I discovered that all three of these items were added in as a free update very close to the release of Rocket League, as a sort of apology slash joke that addressed a bunch of server issues that they were having right at the release. So I don't know about you, but I actually found that really funny. Like that is a quality move from Psyonix, to notice that you were having a problem and then make a bunch of joke items about that problem and give them out for free as an update. I mean, come on, that's just awesome. But either way, I'm definitely gonna have to use these items more now that I know there's sort of a secret meaning behind them. But anyways guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like down below. It only takes a second and it helps me out a ton. And do not forget to check out some of my previous videos, which should be popping up on screen now, including talk about some real-life Rocket League toys, as well as some new DLC that's coming with them, and also a video about two amazing glitches in Rocket League. But other than that guys, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm the Llamaser, and I will see you guys next time.